is Chloe and thank you for checking out my booktube channel. This is my first ever booktube vlog. Sorry if I'm a bit nervous and some clips I'm just quite nervous in front of the camera so over time hopefully I'll get more confident with the camera. Thank you for watching. Let's get on with the video. Bye. I have bought all of these books literally this week. I think I have a bit of a book buying problem which I am gonna read through all of the books that I have later on. I am gonna count how many books <laughs> I have. I have a shelf here full of books of here this is my Christmas bookshelf also got a shelf here and a shelf next to my bed this is just going to be my Halloween-y horror bookshelf. I'm really into thriller books at the moment. I also like fantasy books. I'm trying to get into non-fiction, so if you guys have any book recommendations, leave them in the comments. Thank you. Say that lightly, like they're literally like corner our female character and be like, we could take you right here if we wanted. Hi guys, it's me currently coming to you from in the dark. Obviously, you can't see me at the moment, and the reason for that is tonight there's currently a power cut. So this is going to be fun, I'm currently watching Jamie and Chloe's live stream on Twitch using my mobile data, they're streaming out loud so it should be fun. Hopefully the power comes back on soon but I'll just have to wait and see. spooky suspense stories there's 13 13 stories in the book so I'll read it on later on tonight and update you guys on my thoughts of the book this is the book It is a collection of authors that have written stories so it's not just by one author so it should be interesting maybe I might not like all the 
stories i'll just have to wait and see i'll update you guys as i just really not feeling the book at the moment like <sighs> I'm just feeling like it's dragging on at the moment so I'm just gonna pick up another book I just really don't want to read it at the moment I might try it again but if I decide I don't want to finish it, I'll just get rid of it. Yeah. Because there's really no point in reading a book that you're not really going to enjoy, really, is there? I just thought I might enjoy it, but so far it's just... The first few pages are just meh, so. So excited for the life. Hi guys, so I have stopped reading the book. The Replacement. I have bought two new books. They are by James Herbert. This book is called Haunted. It is a paperback. It has gold sprayed edges about the replacement. I am gonna read it just later on i did read it before i started a booktube channel i was on page 65 but i stopped reading it after three weeks so i found it again but since i've caught the james herbert board i would read it because it actually intrigued me the first page I'm on page 26 of the book at the moment not much has happened so far it's just about this ghost hunter guy a lady called him up so hopefully more of the story happens the more I read I'm gonna read it soon and after I finish the book I'm gonna read read The Ghost of Seth this is also by James Herbert and it has blue sprayed edges the books have a theme to them the haunted book as you saw it's gold and um the ghost of seth has blue sprayed edges i got these at the warehouse eight dollars each but they had a sale going so I got both of them for $12 which is a really good price because I saw on Book Depository they were going for $20 but they do free shipping on 
book depository but it's still quite a bit for paperback so I'm really happy with that I picked up these books <laughs> for a really good price so I'll read this book after I finish Haunted I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to read Haunted some parts of the book are quite quick to read the pages if they're not that difficult words but I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm a fast reader or a slow reader it's hard to tell sometimes it also depends on the text size and how much text I'll just get the book and show you how much text it has That's the text. <laughs> There's quite a bit of text in there. I look forward to re finishing up this book. Hopefully I don't take too long to finish it. I've been in a bit of a book slump at the moment. But I want to really, really get back into reading. Because I've been going... It's been like three weeks since I've read a book. I just, I don't know why then the next night I'm like, uh, I don't really want to read it, I'll just leave it. But I'm trying not to do that anymore, just read the book now and up you go, update you guys later on with my thoughts. There's a bit of a romance going on between two characters at the moment. <laughs> Hi guys, I just finished the book, The Haunted, not The Haunted, Haunted by James Herbert. Oh my god, this book. It was quite slow at the beginning, but then it improved. This book put you on a roller coaster, honestly. I love the book so much. <laughs> it's about this guy called David Ash. In parts of the book, he goes by David. In some parts, he's called Ash. He's a supernatural ghost investigator. He's a bit skeptic about ghosts. Not sure that they're real or not. There's this girl called Christina who he meets in the book first. She's the lady who asked him to come to the house in the first place. Their family name is Edbrook. 
have uh, many tears who brought them up when they were young I don't want to spoil too much but their parents died I'm not gonna say how because that explains it in the book but this book is <laughs> really good descriptive wise it had a lot of words but they were really really good James Herbert is such a good writer you could understand every word you could imagine it in your mind I honestly constantly wanted to keep picking up this book because I enjoyed it so so much I'm giving it five stars it's not like spooky scary like you're gonna have nightmares from it it is a good amount of scary honestly everyone should pick it up and read it and I also I am glad in the vlog um, the vlog in the clip earlier I also have the second book to this series it's a two part book which I didn't realise but I'm glad I picked up the other book as well and I also pronounced the name wrong I was supposed to say Slef but I said Seth instead so I'm looking forward to also reading that one to see what happens in that one and seeing if I enjoy that one also the other one is long ago oh also forgot to mention i started this book on the on july 22nd and finished the book on 31st of july i bought the audiobook because I wanted to finish it tonight because I have some books that I really really want to read in August I'm gonna fill my August TBR tomorrow and put that up tomorrow afternoon so Thank you so much guys for watching this video and please, please pick up James Herbert book Haunted and The Ghost of Slef as well and let me know in the comments down below or let me know on my Instagram page. Chloe in Reading Land and I'll also link it down below in the description sec not the description section the thing down below <laughs> thank you so much for watching my first video bye have a lovely day or night thank you bye